let's close that and then let's reopen edit i think it's edit rig is what we want to do oh no that's not what we want to do now not recreator either. animation tools oh man all right this is not that's not working that's not working that's not working all right let's open up that's good that a problem came up <laughs> uh let's open up is this number 19 rig 19 that's with the joints in it let's open up Let's open up six again. I want to see what is going on with that. It may not bring our editor. It did not. Let's do this. Let's uh, recreator. Is it going to know? It does know. Okay, so recreator is what we want to bring in. Oh, this like had everything on it. Yeah, it has everything on it right here. All right, all right, all right. All right. We're back in business. So I opened up the file we had. We had the breast joints in it. Then I selected a mesh instead of going right to vertex, the vertex mode. Um, and it looks like everything is still in here. What I wanted to do was... open up our file from the beginning bring make sure we have the one with the joints on it redo the whole thing not reskin it but redo the joints that we want to have on it see because this doesn't have any of the face joints on it either um And then just go from there. Copy skin weights. Move influence tools. I don't understand why it's not showing that though. I mean, it could be a bug. Go back to object mode. Let's see what happens if we rotate. Oops. If we rotate, that's not what I want to do. There we go, back to one. All right. Um, that just changes one, two, and three is what I pressed. And you saw it, the mesh change. It changes the um, tessellation of it, make it smoother. Um, to show you it, it, it in a different way. But I don't want to do that, so I put it back on one. I think it made it like a NURBS object or something, or what it looks like, NURBS view. So let's go back, uh, joints. Let's see if we can select this joint and rotate. Let's turn back on our mesh. Oh, I see that it doesn't do anything. Skin joints. We select another joint. Let's see if that does anything. Joint. Doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. So let's do our spine three. Uh, it doesn't have this extra thing on it save that we did before. That's fine. I really want to see about putting this onto the rig correctly. So even if we go here, oh look, there's all the other joints. They might be in here. 
Ugh, it's in here for paint weights. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So all is good. Let's go back. All right, let's go back, let's go back. All right. So let's do the change we had before. So I think I figured it out. So let's go back to here. Let's put this back on our, we're gonna do this to our upper arm joints, hide your joints again, just to make sure that we don't, oh, let me just, so we don't overwrite them. Um, so we wanna do this and this, and we wanted this to be to our upper arm. This is our upper arm right. So one. And then let's go back to our spine three. So we can do our selection. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. And we want this to be to upper arm left one. Okay. Uh, now what we wanna do is so I'm to close those other windows I hope on the other side, which was my calculator, not hiding anything for you guys. It was my calculator and my um, snippet tool. We want to, you know, build our rig now. I think we're at a good point where we were gonna leave things how they were, um, but let's, instead of doing that, let's do our range of motion first before we build our rig. Because when you build your rig, you're pretty much done. The, the way you're gonna have to go back and edit this skinning is gonna be totally different than what we're doing right now. Um, so let's actually do some range of motion stuff and try to make sure things look how we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some keys. Let's turn our joints back on. Let's turn on, we're gonna be going back and forth between turn the mesh visible and not visible. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's take the arms and we wanna set a key and then let's go up 10 frames. Let's set another key. Let's turn on our um, mesh. Let's rotate the arms up 90 degrees. Reset that key. That looks pretty good how that is right now, you know. If anything, we just blend a little bit of this, a little bit of this to make this not be so harsh, but that's not that big of a deal right now. Um, let's do the same thing with the legs. Let's go back to frame zero. Let's set key. Go to frame 10, set a key, rotate these. Ooh, see how that looks? We gotta change that. Set a key. Does that mean something's messed up? Let's see. Do this again. Do that. Do that. Tell me it reset on itself. I don't think it did, but we'll see. Okay, it didn't. Good. So see where we have to do our blending? It, you know, pretty much doing your range of motion will pretty much tell you where you need to address uh, your, your paint weights, which is awesome. Set a key. Uh, let's do the same thing for upper arms. Go to frame 10, um, set a key and move the arms up. Set a key. From frame 10 on, let's go to frame 20. Uh, let's go to frame 10 actually. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a key on our uh, clavicles. So there's zero dot, and then at 20, we want to go raise our, our clavicles up. And then 30, we want to come back down. Okay. 
for let's take the spines one two three let's put a key on 30 and let's go to 40 and send our spawns until we're touching our our back all the way to our butts and then let's go back to 50 and go back the other way let's go like this so we can see a nice curve there and then go to 60 go down even more boobs to pelvis so we can get it we can see how we can make this back look smooth uh, let's copy our frames at 30 copy and let's put those at 70 what we're creating right now is our range of motion file it's not really a file it's going to be a set of poses that we have in here we're going to paste this here so we can get that back up to being straight and let's do the some some neck motion now so neck one neck two and the head all right let's set a key on 70 and then on 80 let's rotate that back Let's go forward and 100. Let's go forward more, even more. Okay. And let's go back to 70, and we're going to do a copy, paste, copy, and paste it on 110. Uh, what we also want to do here is let's do our uh, spines one more time. And we're going to do our side to side on our spines. So key and then go to 120. And want to rotate to the left and 130 and rotate to the right. And you want to rotate it as extreme as you want to go with your range of motion for your character. Everybody's character is different. Maybe you want your character to be a little bit more stiff, but rotate it to the, what the extreme is that you want it to be. Um, that'll give you the best values that you're going to set for your blending so you don't under blend or over blend. Um, this key eight should be on 120. All right. So that's pretty good range of motion. The other thing we want to do is we can go back to the legs and change some things on the legs. So let's go back to both. We're going to copy this key. Copy. Put that on 20. Paste. Thirty. And then move these legs forward. And then at forty, I'm gonna bring them back down. And at fifty, I'm gonna come all the way back. And I want to bring them back on 60 copies frame zero and then on 60 put them back at the default now we want to mess with the ankles so let's select both ankles key at 60 and then on 70 we want to rotate the ankles down 